special. Amen. So uh, we thank God for, uh, for her and, and her life, the children that she has given unto me. And, and we thank God for the love that she has shown uh, us here at Christian Ministries. And amen. We just praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I certainly do. Uh, I'm a fan of marriage uh, between a man and a woman. Amen. We're going to make that clear, make that plain. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm going to come back to myself. I'm thinking a whole lot going through my mind. Thank you, Lord. But I certainly do thank God. I thank God for uh, the institution of marriage. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And as we uh, move toward our services on today, uh, we certainly do not want to forget uh, all those that have paved the way for us and given their lives up until this very hour. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for Sister, look at Sister Yolanda. Amen. Walking, amen. She's walking through, walking through the city. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm just having fun right now. Uh, we just want y'all to stand up with me. And I was watching Brother Jarrell. He coming in, got his uh, mask on with the flag. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I, is he friend or foe? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm glad, I'm glad he a friend. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, oh, I meant to say also to, you know, um, our sister Shanika and Freedom, they went with a couple sisters. Uh, to uh, Canada, not Canada, but to Niagara Falls. So pray for them that the Lord will give them a safe journey. And, uh, and all of our other family members and people that we know that are traveling, uh, certainly let's pray for them. Amen? Amen. Let us not forget. Let us not forget. I want to come to you out of the book of Psalms, Psalms 23. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, this is uh, the most familiar psalm in the Old Testament. Amen. And, uh, David wrote it, uh, and we give God thanks and praise for it. And it's called the Psalm of David. And the word of the Lord says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Read. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I just want to take a start as you take your seats uh, from that first verse. If you can just read that first verse with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I want to take a thought from that verse. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. As we said earlier that David, he penned this particular psalm as he did the majority of psalms. Amen. This particular psalm was penned out of David's life experiences. As you begin to read the particular psalm, you could see that David was and has experienced life experiences that he is pausing and meditating on to give God thanks. And that's what we ought to do. We ought to take our some of our life experiences and give God thanks. Relationship is everything with God and building a relationship with the Lord 
to those that want to grow and to mature is everything. God has done miraculous and great things in our lives. He has literally done some seen and unseen things that we don't even know about that God has made a way. God is always making a way for them that love him, them that trust him, them that put their trust in him. And what David was doing through this particular psalm, he was remembering his life experiences, his, his ups and his downs and his turnarounds. But through it all, God has been faithful to him. Uh, we can remember and look back over our lives. And there's been some times even in my life where I thought, well, this is it. It's all over. I might as well pack my bags and go. But God, but, but God, but God, but God. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. I'm sure that you can even look back over your life and think back, how am I going to get out of this? How am I going to move past this? I'm reminded of the great apostle Paul who said, I'm forgetting those things that are behind and I'm reaching for those things that are before me and I'm pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. The only way that we can forget those things that are behind, we need God on our side. We need God working with us and, and to and through us and for us. If we were honest and just took inventory, we should come to the conclusion that if it had not been for the Lord, when I look back over my life and I begin to think things over that, that, that I'm truly blessed because I've got a testimony. It, it, he may not came when I want him, but he's always right on time. The, we say that God, he doesn't work on Kairos, but he works on Kairos. And that just simply means he doesn't work on our time. He works on his time. God is an on time God. Yes, he is. And when David was looking back over his life, he begins to style the Lord as a divine shepherd, a, a divine shepherd, one that is able to provide all things that are necessary for his sheep. And that's why David said that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Notice what he said. He said, because I'm in a relationship with God, uh, he supplies all of my needs uh, according to his riches in glory so that I don't have to want. Uh, God, he will supply every need that you have so that you don't have to want. Uh, you know, it looks back over a king and one that rules over his people. Uh, God is a king that provides everything that his people need. What, what would you need with a king that can't give you what you need and you have to go to some other country? Oh, my God, it would be an offense unto me that my wife would go and ask another man for something I couldn't give her. It would be an offense unto me that my children, uh, the ones that were born and raised by me, that they would look to another for their help other than their father. And so likewise with God, God is a God that says, I am God and a cattle on a thousand hills belongeth unto me. God says that I will provide. I, I'm Jehovah Jireh. I, I will provide your every need. If you need water in a weary land, I'll be your rock. Uh, if you need food, if you need shelter, I'll be your bridge over troubled waters. That's why David said that the Lord is my shepherd uh, and I shall not want because I'll, wherever he leads me, I will follow. Wherever he guides me, I will go because he's a good shepherd. Uh, one that layeth his life down for the sheep. Uh, I see why David was looking at 
the Lord and Jesus said that uh, those that came before him were uh, thieves and robbers and they were hirelings but the good shepherd uh, layeth his life down. Uh, God is good to us and he brings us out of this and he brings us out of that and he heals us from this and he heals us from that and he makes ways out of no way and he turns situations around because he's God all by himself. Oh my God, he's God all by himself. I see why David said that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want that. He alone maketh me to lie down in those green pastures. And he alone leadeth me beside the still waters. And he restoreth my soul. Oh my God, if you ever were in a hard place and did some hard things and David was chased down by his enemies and David was looked on as one that didn't have any glory or honor but he had glory and honor with God. My God people may look down on you. People may cast you out. People may talk about you but God knows how to restore your soul. God, God knows how to restore your hope. God, God knows how to restore your joy. Uh, he'll give you joy unspeakable Speakable, and it be full of glory. God knows how to pick you up uh, and turn you around. You, you know, uh, a lot of people uh, have fallen in the hands of their enemies. And their enemies tried to kill, steal, uh, and to destroy them. But I'd rather fall into the hands of a just God. I, I'd rather uh, put my confidence in God because he's a very present help in the time of trouble. He's a very present help in the time of need. That's why we ought to praise God. That's why uh, we ought to worship God. That's why we need to go to God when we need a healing. That, that's why we need to go to God when we need our souls revived. That's why we need to go to God when we need some strength. That's why we need to go to God when we have lost our way. That's why we need to go to God because God is there to strengthen us. God is there to help us. God is there to look past all of our faults and, and he sees our need. That's why David said the Lord is my strength uh, and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. That's what God does for his children. He, he gives them courage in the midst of the test. He gives them courage in the midst of the storm that, that you can stand up to your Goliath. That you can stand up to your enemy. Why? Because God is on your side. And if, if God be for you, if God be for you, who then can be against you? You ought to praise and worship him. You ought to give God thanks uh, because you should have been dead a long time ago. You should have been out at Kabosha, out of your mind a long time ago. But he that keepeth Israel, he never slumbers, nor does he sleep. He that watches over your soul day and night and night and day, he knows how to restore you. He knows how to revive you. He knows how to give you joy unspeakable and full of glory my God it wasn't the, it wasn't the money that made me happy it wasn't the blessing that made me happy it was the Lord that was on our side it was the Lord that had given us strength it was the Lord that made ways out of no way I don't rejoice necessarily in the blessing but I rejoice in the blessor oh my God that's when Relationship. Uh, that's relationship. It's not about what I can get, but it's about who's on my side. Uh, and if it had not been, somebody say if it had not been, if it had not been for
for the Lord that is on our side. My God, we grow from relationship to relationship to relationship with the Lord. In the beginning, I come as a little child unto the Lord and, and then I'm undumb. Sometimes I make foolish mistakes, but as we grow, as we mature, as the Lord brings us out, as the Lord heals us we could say the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want oh when I was down and out he provided when I couldn't see my way he became a way out of no way when the enemy came up against me like a flood it was the spirit of the Lord that lifted up a standard against him when friends talked about me it was the Lord that took me up you are Give God a praise and just look back over your life. You ought to give God a praise when you were in a rock hard place. It was the Lord that was your mountain mover. Oh, when you couldn't see, it was the Lord that became your light. Lift up your hands, O oh, ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory, he shall come in. When you think about it, you can say, who is the king of glory? It's the Lord. It's the Lord strong and mighty. It's the Lord mighty in battle. They say that a heart attack is a silent killer but I say the Lord my God oh my God you got to give God a praise my Lord come on in the sanctuary and lift up your hands and give God a praise give God a praise you see David has been through some things and the scripture says that he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You see, a lot of times God will do it for you just because of his name you got his name uh, God will open up doors because of his name's sake because you've got something that's valuable something that's powerful that's why he said if you're asking my name I'll do it for you that's a good good father that's a good good shepherd he'll do it for you for his name's sake when you seem like you're going astray, the good shepherd just won't leave you out there. My God, a good shepherd will lay down his life for the sheep and give his life as a ransom for you and I because he cares for sheep. Oh my God, he cares for us. He loves us. He trusts us. He wants to deliver us. So that's why he said, oh, I'll do it for my name's sake. And then when situations come up, the enemy tries to kill. He tries to steal. And he tries to destroy. Yeah, David said that Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm not going to fear any evil. Why? Because the Lord is with me. Death doesn't fear the Lord. Evil doesn't fear the Lord. But he's with us. Uh, his rod and his staff. His rod is there to protect you. And his staff is there to comfort you. Uh, sometimes we walk through valleys. We walk through shadows of death. Uh, sometimes uh, in this life uh, you're going to face calamity uh, you're going to face destruction uh, you're going to 
face hard times. Uh, but you got to realize uh, because the Lord is. Uh, the Lord is your shepherd. Uh, he won't leave you. Uh, he won't forsake you. Uh, he'll be with you always, uh, even until the end of the world. Uh, and he's there comfort you. He's there to take you through. He's there to bring you out on the other side. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to today. Yeah, but because God is good, I don't have to worry about the battle. I don't have to worry about the test because he'll bring me out on the other side. You don't have to wait till the battle is over. You don't have to wait till the test is done. You can shout. You can give them glory. It doesn't matter how close the enemy comes nigh thee. It won't come nigh thy dwelling. It won't take you over because the Lord is with thee. He'll comfort you in your midnight hour. He'll give you joy. He'll give you peace. He'll be your bridge uh, over troubled waters. Uh, though they try to slay me, uh, yet will I trust them. Uh, though they try to kill me, uh, the Lord, uh, he's on my side. Uh, I see why David said, uh, uh, they prepare a table uh, before me uh, in the presence of my enemies. Uh, that's because the Lord, He's not in a hurry. He wants you to be in the presence of your enemies so he don't waste that test, so that he don't waste that trial, so that you can sit down, oh my God, and rest in him. How many of you know I'm sitting and I'm resting in the Lord? And while I'm resting, he's anointing me. While you're resting, Resting. He's anointing you. He's anointing you for a higher level. He's anointing you in the presence of your enemies. Why they talked about you. Why they looked down on you. Why they called you out. God was elevating you. God was delivering you. God was anointing you. He anointed your head with oil and it caused you to have an overflow. My God, only a God like that can give you an overflow in the midst of your test, in the midst of your trial. That overflow is an anointing. Oh, come on, that destroys every yoke. It's an anointing that elevates you above. It's an anointing that brings you out more than a conqueror. It's an overflow. It's a sign of his deliverance. It's a sign of his grace. It's a sign of him being more than enough. He's more than enough. He's more than enough to supply your need, to supply your joy, to supply your victory. That's why David said his goodness and his mercy it's following me uh, everywhere I go. Uh, everywhere I go, uh, I'm blessed. Uh, I'm blessed. Uh, I'm blessed in the city. Uh, I'm blessed in the field. Uh, I'm blessed when we come. Uh, I'm blessed when we go. Uh, we cast down. Uh, come on, clap your hands. The Lord is. Shalalabasha. The Lord is. Somebody say, The Lord is. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my way maker. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my joy. The Lord is my reviver. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my protection. The Lord is my goodness. The Lord is my mercy that shall follow me. All the days. David said, I was rich, but now I'm old. 
I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, it's seed begging bread. Aren't you glad that the Lord is? He's a way maker. Tell your neighbor he's a way maker. He's a way maker. Tell somebody he's a way maker. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. Let the church stand. Way maker. Heart fixer. My God. That is who you are. Oh. I am here. Moving in this place. I yes, Lord. You. you are here. Moving in this place. Yes, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Turning life around, I worship you. Come on, I worship you. We make a we make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you. Oh, oh, we make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, and it's who you are. Lift up your hand and say, we make a, we make a miracle work, promise light in the darkness, yeah. Yes, yes, 
leave with confidence. Leave with trusting in the Lord. Re leave with believing that God is on your side. Seek him. Trust in him. Believe in him. Pastor Duck, will you pray and give the benediction? Because I don't want to let him go. <laughs> wow. What a service, amen. What a word, amen. Hallelujah. We got a fresh word, a rhema word from heaven today. Amen. And Brother David just topped it off with that. You make the uh, he is way maker. Amen. Amen. So good to see you. Amen. That, with bowed heads. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to give you glory, to give you praise. We thank you, O oh God, for being in our midst today. We thank you for the word that you've sent us today, Lord. We're asking, Lord, that you'll help us to take this word, hide it in our hearts. And Lord, bless us, Lord, indeed. Oh, Lord, we pray that you'll bless us indeed, oh God. Enlarge our territory. Lord, we pray that you keep your hands on us, Lord, and protect us from all evil. Let your will be done in our lives. And now, Lord, dismiss us from this place, but not from your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.